Yes, we have reports that most of the states in Nigeria already are planning to have election for 2022. You know, some of them had some cases, so definitely some states normally have their elections in uh, some different years, you know, unlike when it all started that uh, every state would have their election, which is supposed to be in 2023. But, you know, because of some court cases that were judged, some states had to go back, you know, do a, have a re-election and so on and so forth. So they just have to uh, get the elections done before, you know, the general election in the state, in the country. So, there are a lot of states who would have the elections next year and also for 2023, which we all know is the general election for the country. Guess what? And what we saw, both the Electoral Commission chairman and that is uh, the Independent Electoral Commission chairman and the Senate president, Hamad Lawan, were in a secret meeting doing what? What are they planning? What are they trying to put together? What is their business together now that elections are drawing near? Well, I'll bring you details what uh, they were seen doing together and what they were discussing. But of course, you will stay tuned. Yes, you will stay tuned. And also, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you're always here, a returning subscriber, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell if you have not, so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video. Yes, let us find out what the Senate President and the Independent Electoral Commission Chairman was doing together. What are they planning ahead of the elections? You know, some of the states already have their by-elections and on and, and so on and so forth. Anyway, guys, more details. So stay tuned. Right here, it says that uh, uh, the Nigeria's Electoral Commission Chairman Yakubu holding secret meeting with Senate President Lawan, ruling APC party leaders ahead of election. The trio had a meeting last Friday October 22nd at a guest house belonging to the Senate president at around 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Ainek Mahmoud Yakubu, have, have, has been holding secret meetings with top leaders of all Progressive Congress APC. Sources explain that the INEC chairman, who is supposed to be neutral and non-partisan, have been holding frequent meetings with Hamad Lawan, that is the Senate president, and Mai Malabuni, caretaker chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress and governor of Yobe State. It was also gathered that the trio had a meeting last Friday, that was October 22nd, at a guest house belonging to the Senate president at about 1 p.m. and 1 a.m. One of the sources stated INEC chairman is frequently having private meetings with the duo of the Senate president and Bonnie at a private guest house owned by the Senate president in Maitama, Abuja. The last meeting was held last Friday between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. at the Senate president's guest house on Yet Seram Street, behind the Inspector General of Police residence, it was between the Senate President, INEC Chairman, and Boni. These three had earlier met, but with Governor Abubaka Bagudu of Kebi State and Jigawa State Governor Mohammed Abubaka at the same venue some three months ago. INEC Chair, who is supposed to be neutral, is now meeting secretly with top members of the ruling party, APC. Another source said that, uh, had reported that some of the high-profile politicians in the southeast region had started spending big to manipulate the forthcoming Anambra state governorship pool. According to the report, among the politicians is a seven southeast governor currently in the opposition who reportedly paid $4 million, roughly 1640000000 billion, naira, to manipulate the, the election to favor his candidate in the election on November 6. An Amber State president will go to the polls to decide the next governor of the state, which we all know that because it has been on for some time now, 
you know, they had their by elections and it was a whole rough uh, kind of uh, uh, election. But the thing is, are the Anambra people really ready? Because now we are having the INEC chairman going into meeting with the ruling party and also the Senate president. That means they have an agenda because the INEC chairman is not, especially at this point where a lot of uh, things are going on, you know, where a lot of elections are to be uh, held, you know, he's not supposed to have any meeting with anybody because he is, he should stand as a neutral man or as a neutral person. He is not in any way supposed to be having secret meetings with governors, senators, or whatsoever. He's not in any way supposed to do that because he will be seen as a cheat, just like what happened in the Edo election. Remember that they said the commissioner who was supposed to monitor the election was seen in a meeting, though it, it was a propaganda and ended up as a lie. But that almost tarnished the image of that commissioner because reports had it that he was having a meeting with the governor of the state, you know, Gordon Obaseki, and, you know, it was a propaganda from Oshomales camp so that he would have a bad name and also that those guys were trying to bribe so that the election would be in their favor. But it was later found that that, that was not the truth. So what the Senate uh, president and the INEC chairman are doing together is really not right. Yes, especially that of the INEC chairman. He is not supposed to be seen with anyone. That is a fact. He is not supposed to be seen with anyone, especially now that elections are around the corner. I know APC are ready to do anything. The PDP are also ready to do anything to ensure they win the forthcoming election because, you know, the Nigerian system just shows like we have a two-party system, even though other parties exist. But though, really, they really do not exist in the eyes of Nigerians because majorly Nigerians are just uh, standing between uh, both the PDP and the APC. So definitely... It is still going to be like that for a long time. But I believe Nigerians should have a change of heart and have a change of mind and know where they stand so that it will help them at the end of the day. But guys, you've heard it all. That is it from here. I hope that uh, the Anambra people are ready and I hope that the INEC chairman really uh, does the right thing because Nigerians have really suffered not having, uh, you know, a clean and good election for years i hope things will get better in the future for nigerians but anyway guys you've heard it all thank you so much for staying tuned whatever you have to say about this please drop it in the comment section and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yeah guys thank you for all you've always been here we really appreciate you do have a pleasant pleasant time bye for now